trying to make a video here. There you go. Ordinarily, I leave those little guys alone for lots of reasons. Do not knock me down, horse. But in a survival situation, that is perfect bait. Maybe you can see it now that the horses are gone. Yeah. That's actually, this one here is actually not a toad, that's a little jumping rope. Trying really hard to get the scale on him, huh? Dang, yummy. Yeah, that toad was a whole lot easier to hold on to than this little guy was, or he is. See, I mean, he's not, well, let's try that. He's very small. Maybe half inch, five eighths inch long. Come on. Oh. This is Wes. Um, I'm down here in South Texas. Y'all can't see my face, can you? Don't don't want to deprive y'all of that. Anyway, I'm down here in South Texas in uh, hunting bait. It rained about two two and a half inches last night, real slow, and it brought all the little frogs out, hopping all over the place. Uh, I wasn't going to use them, but I started counting them as they were hopping by. Some will catch me three or four of the smallest ones. And uh, see about trying to catch me some uh, green sunfish with them. I may have waited too long. I don't know. There was a hundred of them went by a while ago, and then I, man, that's a lot. They slowed down after I started looking, but I guess they probably all dug into the grass whenever they see me start walking around, too. Anyway. Little baby frogs are good fish bait. Don't just go out and catch them and use them and then throw them all in the lake or whatever when you're done. There's no... No need to be mean to anything if you don't have to be. But my taste buds have a hankering for, for some perch. And with the shutdown and stuff, you can't find fishing worms. So I have to improvise. And that's just part of it. One of those guys just jumped right there. I'll see y'all in a bit. No. I quit talking to y'all. It started looking for the frogs. It, it took me all of like two minutes to get four frogs. And like I said, I just got the little one. Coffee. Thank you very much.